This is a very interesting question. Of course, it can be solved by using algebra and the method or the steps that we can follow up, but it can actually be done in a shorter way. You have a test, so you will score four marks for every correct answer, while you lose one mark for every wrong answer. If you have attempted all the 200 questions and scored 200 marks, how many questions will you get right? Yeah, this is a nice question. So you see, you have scored a total of 200 marks, though you have attempted all the 200 questions. So first of all, we'll assume that all the 200 questions that you have attempted are correct. Had it been so, you would have scored 200 times 4 because one question carries 4 marks. So you would have scored a total of 800 marks. But what did you score? You just scored 200. So which means you have lost how much? You lost a total of 600 marks. Yeah. Now this 600 marks lost, it represents that you have gone wrong in certain questions. So how many? Now the best part is, you are making one question wrong, then you are not just losing the four mark of that question, you are also losing one mark of something correct you have done, which means for every wrong question, you are actually losing five marks, okay? Four marks you, you are losing already and one mark from the one that you have already correct, from the one that you have already got it correct. So what we'll do is 600 is the marks you have lost, I divide that by the marks lost per question. So I know I'll lose five marks for every wrong question. Divide Dividing 600 by 5 gives me 120, which means 120 questions you went wrong, okay? You had attempted a total of 200 questions, so of course, if I subtract this number from 200, it gives me the number of questions which you went right, or this is the number of questions you actually got it correct. This is really interesting and it does save you a lot of time instead of not taking x as the number of questions that you're getting right and getting the whole equation. This is actually time efficient.